friends my name is Vicky so here I am with the new AWS video now before I go to the demo if you are here for the first time then do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notified of the new video in this video we are going to learn how to configure AWS CLI and how to work with AWS CLI security groups command so let's start so First, what I need to do is I need to configure AWS CLI on my machine and for that I need a user. So let's go to the IAM and create a user. I'm in my AWS console. I already logged into my AWS console and in the services I'm, I'm going to type IAM. Now in the IAM what I need to do is I need to create a user. So let me create a user. Here I need to give name to the user so demo security group. Okay. I will go with the programmatic access because I need to configure this user from the command CLI so that I can run all my command from there. Next permission and in the attach existing policy I am going to attach the admin permission. Here I am going to select the admin access. user now this screen is very important because here we need to download this CSV file if we are not going to download this CSV file next time we will not get the secret key so we need to make sure that we are going to note down access key and the secret key somewhere because this secret key I, I will not get it again this is only for the one time so let me click on this and let me configure my user so here I'm going to my terminal and here the command which I'm going to type that is AWS configure now here it is asking me for the access key so let me copy the access key from here Paste. now I need to enter the secret key so let me copy this thing The next one is the default region name. So here I am in US East 1. So let me change it to US East 1 only. Done. So I have now configured my user on this machine. And just to verify it, I'm going to run one of the AWS CLI command that is AWS S3 LS. Now what it is going to do is it is going to list all my bucket. If I have bucket in my account, it is going to show me all the buckets. I'm able to call all the buckets so that means I have access my user is properly configured okay now today we are going to learn the security groups command so let me go to the security group so security group option I will get in the EC2 or I will also get in the VPC so now here we have the option for the security group now here currently it is showing me two security group that okay so now let's go to the AWS official documentation for the CLI for this security group now let me type AWS CLI documentation I'm going to click on the first link okay let me go back not this one this one sorry command CLI CLI reference now here I need to look for the security group and security group is a part of the EC2 so I will get it over there so let me go to the EC2 first and there I will get all the command for the security group so the first command which we are going to look is how to create a security group now if from graphical interface I need to create a security group I need to click on this and I can do that but from the command line if I need to create a security group how we can do that so for that let's search for the command create security group now here it is let me click on that now here it says a security group act as a virtual firewall for your instance to control inbound and the outbound traffic and how to create a security group it is telling me here create security group and with the security group we can add all those things if we need to that is whatever you see in the bracket that is 
something you can skip it is not mandatory you need to give so whatever you see here in the bracket that is something you can skip it but whatever which is not showing in the bracket you have to give otherwise the command is not going to run now you can scroll down and look for the example command if you scroll down here it is example to create a security group now here is the command you can just copy this command let me open new file from here text file okay let me paste it here now here is the command to create a security group now aws ec2 create security group group name now here i need to give the name of the security group so let me give demo sg now here in the description created from aws cli now let me copy this thing let me go to my terminal paste it here paste hit enter here i am getting the group id something like this now let me go to the official documentation one more time and in the output it is telling me i will get this thing now let me go to the ec2 console and verify it as of now it is showing me only two let me refresh it uh, we are in ap south one so we need to change it to us east one let me go to the security group here demo sg so here it is now you can see the description as well created from aws cli now if i'm going to click on that here in the inbound i don't have anything and in the outbound i have all the traffic in the tag i have nothing so now my next task is to update the inbound rule now how to do that let me go to the aws cli documentation let me go back one step now here we need to look for authorize security group now here it is showing me two commands one is for the egress that is for the outbound and one is for the ingress that is for the inbound now let me click on this ingress one so i'm going to update the inbound traffic and you can read the description as well here inbound rule permit instance to receive traffic from the specified ip version 4 or ip version 6 citr address range now authorize security group ingress i just need to scroll down again whatever the things are there in the bracket these are not mandatory thing so if you want you can avoid all those things but if you want to give you can give like let's suppose aws authorized security group ingress and then i need to provide the group name or the group id whatever i need to provide i can give that again we will scroll down and look for the example so i will get example in the last so here is the example let me scroll up a little bit yes that's one that was the one let me scroll down yes here it is let me copy this thing let me paste it here now group name so our group name is demo sg let me give that now in the protocol here we have the tcp let me go back to the documentation and see for the protocol what other values we can give in the protocol so let me scroll up and if i scroll down i have the option for the protocol here i can give tcp udp icmp icmp version 6 so these are the protocols which we can give let me go back so here we have selected tcp port number is 22 and the cidr range this could be any address now let me copy this thing let me go to my terminal and paste this thing now here it is telling me return true so that means it has created or updated my security group and it is also giving me the information now let me go to the aws console and verify it let me refresh this thing 
so demo st is the name of my security group let me see the inbound rule yes i have the inbound rule updated with this ssh tcp port number let me uh, okay now you can see here it is right and if i need to update it again let's suppose i need to update something um, let me go here i need to update the ip address to 192.168.1.1 32 let me copy this thing go to my terminal paste it done let me go to the ec2 console let me refresh this thing let me select my security group so here it is demo sg now here i can see one more added 192 168 i can see that right so by this way i can add multiple inbound traffic the same way i can add the outbound traffic as well but here for the outbound we have to go to the authorized security group egress all right so here it is egress let me click on this again outbound rule permit instance to send traffic to specified ip version 4 or ip version 6 we have authorized security group egress and if i scroll down i have the example here Here is the example. I can do that. Let me copy this example. Let me go here. Now the group ID. Here we need to update the group ID. So let me grab the group ID. So group ID it is telling me here from my previous command. I can copy it from here. Let me copy this thing. So group ID. Let me update the group ID. And copy this complete command paste it okay it is telling me that it is expect uh, expecting security group so that means the group id okay the group id which we have updated we have not updated in the correct format see so let me go back and let me remove this thing SG. I think this one is extra here. Yes, it is. Let me copy it. Return true. Now let me go to the EC2 console and verify it. Let me refresh this one. Demo security group outbound here it is port number 80 and i can see 10.0.0.16 here it is 10.0.0.16 port number 80 port number 80 now till now we have seen like how to create a security group how to update the inbound rule and the outbound rule now let's suppose i need to delete this security group do we have a command for that let's see so let me search for delete Yes, we do have a command to delete this security group. Let me open this one. Again, we can scroll down and look for the example. Here we need to give this group name. And once I am going to provide with the group name, it is going to delete the security group. So here we need to provide the group name. And what is the group name? That is demo sg. Now let's suppose I need to attach this thing to my EC2 machine. How we can do that? Now for that, there is a command. Let me scroll back. Let me look for that command. So Meanwhile, let me do one thing. Let me create a EC2 instance as well because as of now we don't have any instance in the running state. Um, let me create one. Uh, 
I'm not going to attach any of the security group right now. Uh, tagging, uh, I don't want to give any tagging as well. Security group. Okay, it is going to create a new security group. That's okay. Let me give you launch. Let me launch it. We need the instance ID. Let me copy the instance ID. We need the security group name. Here we have the security group name as well. Now let me go to the security of this EC2 instance. Let's see which security group is attached. Right now this security group is attached to this machine. Now my task is to attach a different security group to this machine. So first let me open the security group. Here it is. Demo SG. So this is the security group ID which I need to attach to my instance. Let me paste it somewhere. Okay. Now AWS CLI. Which one I need to see? Le let's search for it. Attach security group. No, we don't have anything. Let me see the security group. Do we have something? Create, delete, describe, describe, describe. But we don't have anything to attach so to attach this one we need to use modify attribute let me search for it attribute describe modify instance attribute this is the command I need to use in order to attach my security group to my EC2 instance. So if I scroll down, here it says modify instance attribute and here we have the groups. Now let me scroll down and read more about the groups. What exactly the groups is? Okay, I think we need to search it groups. Now here it says for the group, replace the security group of the instance with the specified security group. Okay, so here I can attach multiple security group if I need to, I can attach a single security group if I need to. Now scroll down a bit and look for the command. So this is the command, let me copy this command. Okay remove this thing okay. instance id let me replace it with the instance id okay. now the next thing which i need to do is groups and here i need to group uh, here i need to give my security group Copy it, paste it here. Done. Now let me verify it from the AWS console. Let me go to the EC2 and here I am in EC2 as of now it is showing me launch wizard 5. Let me refresh this thing. Here we go. We can see demo SG is now connected. Now the last part is to delete our security group and to delete we have this command we can run this command go here paste it here. Now it is telling me or it is giving me the error message because right now it is attached to one of the instance so it is not allowing me to delete that that's okay that's absolutely fine. I hope you like the video if you like the video hit the like button thank you.